Jesus enters Jerusalem on a donkey. The people are excited and shout, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Passover is two days away. The chief priests want to arrest Jesus because they don't like the things he's saying. They don't want people to follow Jesus instead of them. The disciple Judas agrees to help them. Meanwhile, the disciples prepare the Passover meal. Jesus sits down for dinner with the disciples and says to them, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples each say, No, I won't. But Jesus knows what Judas has planned. Jesus prays before the meal. He blesses the bread, saying, Take it, this is my body. He also blesses the cup of wine, saying, This is my blood, which will be shed for many. Then they go to the Mount of Olives to pray. Jesus says to them, All of you will have your faith shaken. Peter says, No, my faith won't be shaken. But Jesus says, Tonight, before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. They arrive at a place called Gethsemane, and Jesus tells the disciples to sit while he prays. He talks to God, saying, Father, all things are possible for you. Take this cup away from me, but not what I will, but what you will. Jesus knows that he's going to die. Jesus goes back to the disciples, but they are asleep. He tells them to wake up. Twice more he goes to pray, and when he goes back to the disciples, they are sleeping. Then Judas comes with an angry crowd. Jesus chooses to go with them. They take him to the chief priests, who accuse him of saying bad things about God. The high priest asks him, Are you the Christ? the Son of the Blessed One. Jesus answers, I am, and you will see the Son of Man with God in heaven. This makes the priests very angry. They condemn Jesus to death. Meanwhile, Peter is waiting outside. People ask him whether he knows Jesus, and Peter says, No, no, no. Then the cock crows, and Peter realizes that he has betrayed Jesus, just like Jesus said he would. In the morning, the chief priests bring Jesus to Pilate, a Roman leader in charge of the city. Pilate asks Jesus, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus replies, You say so. Jesus doesn't answer any more of Pilate's questions. Pilate asks the crowd whether he should release Jesus. They shout, No, release Barabbas instead. Barabbas was a very bad man. Pilate asks the crowd, It does not seem like Jesus has done anything wrong. What should I do with him? The crowd yells, Crucify him! So Pilate releases Barabbas and sends Jesus to be scourged and crucified. First, the soldiers make fun of Jesus, and then they lead him away to get crucified. They get a man named Simon to help Jesus carry the cross. They arrive at a place called Golgotha, where they put Jesus on the cross. Two other people are also crucified. The crowd makes fun of Jesus as he dies. As he is about to die, Jesus cries out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus gave a loud cry breathed his last, and died. The soldier by the cross realizes, truly this man was the Son of God. Jesus was dead. A man named Joseph of Arimathea wanted to bury his body. Pilate said that he could. He took Jesus' body, wrapped it in a cloth, and with Jesus' mother Mary, put it in the tomb.